all my friends. Welcome back to the channel. So today I need to try to install the cabinet uppers in my kitchen. I've done a lot of work on the kitchen and it's coming together pretty nicely. Uh, I've been pretty busy, so I haven't had a chance to make a lot of videos. Uh, I got an excavator to come and took out all the trees that were in this area here and level the ground a little bit and it took out the trees in this area here as well to allow the sun to be able to get fully on my solar panels. I've done a bunch more work in the kitchen and I'm pretty happy with the way it's coming along. So I just need to go down and get some more tools and then I'll show you putting together the kitchen uppers in the off-grid cabin kitchen. Stay tuned. So as you guys can see, I've done some more work on the kitchen. I got the uh, fridge cabinet done. I put in cupboard doors on the top and the fridge is operating now. And I put the drawers in the bottom and I got these at a garage sale off of uh, at the local hardware store full extension soft closed drawers, drawer closures. I got them for only five bucks each. So super good deal on that. Uh, they were missing a part. They have a fast quick connect clip that's supposed to be on the front of them. It didn't come with those, so I just put a screw in it and five bucks. That's pretty cheap. The regular like 50 each. So I got some more drywall up. I put some lights in. Some pot lights. Actually, I put all the pot lights in. I just put them in temporarily on pieces of cardboard for now. So I got some light to work. And yeah, everything's coming along great. So here's the area for the stove and the sink. And then I've already drawn on the wall. Right here is where the microwave is going to go. Right here is where the microwave is going to go. And then I'm going to have upper cupboards there above it to hold it. And then try to buy a 24 inch microwave over the, over the mic, over the range. You can't. So I, the microwave is going to start at the edge of the stove, but it's going to extend past a little bit. And the distance to the stove pipe is okay. And uh, the distance here is just okay. And then I'm going to have upper cupboards here. So that should be good. Got lots of work to do. I got my tools all together. I've got some, as I, you've seen, layout lines on the wall already. I'm going to start cutting some pieces and mounting stuff on the wall. So instead of building boxes for my cupboards and then mounting them to the wall, I'm stick building them in place. So the first step in the process, and you've probably seen it when I did the fridge cabinet, is I, I'm taking some of this strapping and cutting pieces of it and mounting it and screwing it to the wall. Also, I'm PL gluing it. And that is gonna be the basic frame that's gonna mount the facing on the front and then the bottom and sides. That'll hold it in place so that nothing is gonna come uh, out of whack or my dishes aren't gonna fall down. So I gotta cut these up uh, and piece them in to make a frame around where the cabinet is going to go. Uh, I think I've said it in another one of my videos. If you guys ever have a chance to buy yourself a cordless saw, it's one of the best investments that I've made. Man, it's so awesome to just be able to go anywhere with it, cut, and with this uh, 9 amp hour battery, I got power all day. Awesome. In fact, most of the rest of the build that I've done in there, I don't think I charged the battery more than once.
So guys, you should start to be able to see the outline of the cupboards pretty good now, how they're gonna go. So, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a panel here along this edge for this cupboard. And then the front face of that will give me a place to screw the fascia boards and then that strip for the face, that strip and then I'll put the bottom piece on which will connect to the bottom of the side panel and it'll give me a, a, the face for the front and then I'll be able to attach the strapping pieces as well on the inside of the side pieces this way and then that'll give me something to set the shelves on I'll do the same there so that's my plan and uh, I'm pretty much at the point now where I need to uh, make this side panel so that I can uh, start uh, making it three-dimensional if you will and uh, So now it's starting to look like some cupboards. And then I'll put facing on here like this. I think it's gonna look good.
All right, well, that's pretty much what my kitchen's gonna be. I just gotta build some doors for these other three cupboards, like I did for this one up here. And uh, yeah, I got it done. So all I did, like I showed you guys, I just put a couple of pieces up to give it some support on the walls and then put the plywood onto that to make the boxes, face them out and stained it. And I think it looks pretty good. I think it's gonna be good for a temporary kitchen. That's it. that's for sure anyway. Got my stove all set up, ready to go. And uh, yeah, pretty soon I'll be able to cook the first meal in here. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll try to get on the next video, I'll try to get you guys into showing how I made the doors. Uh, I've only bought uh, two by eights or one by eights pine. So I'm joining them together with uh, biscuit joinery. And so uh, got to glue them together, put them together. You can see on this door here where there's a seam right here and right here. So uh, yeah, I got to glue them together so that they're wide enough to cover the opening. On this one here, I put a pillar in the middle and put a more, more of a space between the doors. But because these cupboards are so small, uh, uh, I, I don't want to put a pillar in the middle. I'm just going to make the doors come together and there'll be a, a little crack in the middle. So there's a pretty good chance that you might be able to see in the cupboard because electricians don't do very good carpentry. But uh, yeah, I got a bunch of mistakes here. Like this board here is too short. You can see through it. I could put some wood filler on that, but I think this is going to do just fine. That board up there is too short too. You can see the crack in it, but lots of little mistakes. I think it looks just fine for a nice rustic looking kitchen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll, I've, I'm finished working up in Northern Ontario. I'm working back in town again. So I'm done with the seven day, 12 hour shifts. I should be able to get into more of a routine again. I've just been so tired after work, no time to make videos. And then when I'm here, I'm trying to get things done. So I appreciate you guys staying tuned. I hope you guys have a great week and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.